So hello guys and welcome and in this video I will be showing you how I optimize Unity's official boat attack project demo from 1314 FPS to 5052 FPS on my Snapdragon 730 Android mobile phone. I will also be showing you tips and tricks that you can apply to your project and I will be covering almost all of the GPU optimization techniques. So just see this video till the end and you will know everything. Here's the boat attack running at 5052 FPS on my mobile. You can see FPS in the profiler window. First, we need to understand how the computer draws the frame. Now the central processing unit, CPU and graphic processing unit, GPU, work together to essentially make the game run. Now CPU is generally has high speed cores, so its major task is to do the calculation part like checking player input, checking calculating collisions and physics etc. With the output of these calculations as instructions, GPU draws the frames. Now here comes the part we need to identify the bottleneck that is the root of the problem is it the cpu or is it the gpu that is unable to do its task on time resulting in frame drops that we are experiencing now in most cases it is the gpu which is unable to do its task on time because in today's world we have fairly fast cpus i mean my laptop cpu is fairly fast and less powerful GPUs. I mean, my laptop's shitty powerful GPU. So to find the bottleneck, here comes our first tool, Unity's Profiler. Now earlier this was a pro only feature and believe me, Unity was very clever in making this feature a pro only. But not now. This feature is completely free and you can just go to Windows Analysis Profiler and and you will get to know what's exactly happening while your game is running in the background. It will just give you the graph and everything will be clear as crystal that what is causing the problem. Or maybe not. Okay, let's come to reality. The profiler is a really complex tool as it, almost, it is one of the most powerful tools of Unity but it is complex. So as soon as you click on the play mode, yeah, the profiler will start running and it will give you the graph. Now, when you click on any of the second, the time, the profiler will show you which process is taking what amount of time in that particular frame. Now, if the problem is in a specific device, for example, Android, which was in my case, the profiler can also be easily attached to the device and it will show you what's happening in the background of your app while it is running on that particular device. In my case, it was finished frame rendering followed by a wait for signal, meaning it is the rendering that is taking too much of time and the CPU is just waiting for its signal to finish. So here it is clear that it is the GPU, which is the bottleneck. So what all techniques I will be covering will be GPU optimization techniques as I already said. This video will be more of what you need to do rather than how to do it. But don't worry if you want to dig deeper into Unity's performance optimization, I will be linking all the resources in the description down below. So do check them out if you want to dig deeper. Draw call batching. We can group game objects in a scene together that share the same material which allows Unity to render multiple objects at once. Now draw call batching is of two types, dynamic batching and static batching. Now Unity automatically handles the dynamic batching but not the static one. So but the process is fairly simple. You just need to go to inspector window and that static drop down menu just check the batching static. Now this is generally being done for the objects that are static meaning that aren't moving in our scene. So the another tip is just group your the objects in our scene as static and dynamic. It will help you a lot. Shadows. Shadows makes the game object to be rendered multiple times. So minimize the use of shadows. Max shadow distance can be set up, low quality shadows can be selected and shadows should be eliminated for small objects that are unnecessary. Combining meshes. 
so that if many game objects have similar meshes, Unity generally loads each one of them which is resource consuming. To tackle this, we can combine meshes. It is also possible to increase performance from 18 to 100 FPS in some cases as was shown in this video. As you can see, the scene is currently running at around 20-22 FPS, but after applying the combined meshes technique, the scene runs at 100 FPS, it is going up to 102 FPS, and that is a performance increase. Textures Now we can compress textures to have a smaller memory footprint, we can also, and you should also enable the MIP maps option so that Unity can use the low resolution version of the textures for smaller triangles. We can also combine different textures into one single big texture atlas so that Unity doesn't need to load every texture again and again, which is again resource consuming. And this thing is done outside of Unity, generally in a 3D modeling software or a texturing software. Lord Groups now we can set up lot groups so that if a camera is at a certain distance from an object, a lower poly version of that model would be used, resulting in less resource consumption, thereby increasing performance. Setting it up is fairly simple. GPU Instancing What if you want to load 100,000 objects and all of them have the same material and mesh? Well, Unity will have to pass that information to the GPU that many times, fairly making it impossible for such scene to be rendered. Here comes GPU instancing. We just pass the material and mesh once and every time we only pass the information as where the frame needs to be drawn. And the best part is Unity does it all. We just need to have a tick and option of GPU instancing on all of your materials. So in the search bar, just select the materials and in every of your material, just tick that GPU instancing and you will have a huge performance increase. It, is, it just takes few seconds to implement this. You can see in this video there are 100,000 objects and it is running at full 60 FPS without any performance drops. There are 100,000 objects in this scene and it is running at full 60 FPS without any drops. Occlusion Culling It basically culls whatever the camera cannot see and this is one of the most popular technique that is used in almost every other game that you are playing right now. Use baked lightings. Use baked lightings and baked reflection probes as much as possible although they will increase the memory footprint but they will drastically reduce the load on the CPU and GPU which is our main concern. Here are some of the project specific settings for the one that has been made on URP and is targeted for Android. Just go towards the quality settings and uncheck medium and high settings. Let it be on low. Texture quality be it quarter resolution, disabled and isotropic textures, disabled real time reflection probes. We don't want anything to be real time and just cross check with my other settings, for example, vsync count, let it be don't sync. Well, after we have done these settings, just go to the universal rendering pipeline quality settings. And here, just check that the op opaque downsampling is 4x by linear and it is, and the profile we are currently modifying is the low quality settings profile and just cross check that HDR is enabled because it, if HDR is disabled the color quality will be highly reduced we don't want that but max shadow distance is approximately 100 disable soft shadows and just cross check my other quality settings now there are some of the lighting settings that needs to be modified We will be using the baked lightings as I already said. Just check the light mapper resolution. It is in my case it is 2.5 pixels per unit. Be it low, don't let it be more than this. And just check my other lighting settings. And last and lastly, one more thing, just ensure that all of your light probes and reflection probes are 
baked are set to bake and after you have set them to bake just go to the lighting settings and bake everything it will take some time but you are now good to go so that's it for this video i hope it helped you and if it did then do hit that like button and help me make more such content by subscribing to the channel and i'll see you in the next one till then